G'day Aquarius, welcome back to TJ Terra Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on. Hey, look at that soulmate after the pre shuffle. Wow, let's begin. Give me three cards to start with. For who's thinking about loving Aquarius? Okay. No mucking about. That's good. I like that. Clarify card one, please. So it's a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or you can check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Come on, you were doing so good before. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. Clarify card two, please. Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind, as you may not be the only one thinking about Aquarius right now. Clarify card three, please. All the decks are pre shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them, in case you are interested in what these decks are. And wow. Okay. Three more for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Uh, I like to get all the cards out first before I start the reading, and I don't read reversals. And I have to let you know that it is extremely late. I'm not surprised that the birds haven't started chirping. <laughs> Lucky it's winter, it stays dark longer. Because, oh. uh, yeah, I started way too late today. But never mind. All good. But is, we are in the new moon energy. I've been in the new moon energy all night. And we're also being that this is the next day. <laughs> we're going into Mercury retrograde for almost the whole of August. So clarify card one in row two, please. Yes, it's been interesting. But I'm sure it'll be an interesting month. Clarify card two, please, in row two. So I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good day, a good week, and a good weekend, wherever you are, and whenever you are watching this. Clarify card three, please, in row two. And don't forget to do something nice for yourself, Aquarius. Spoil yourself with something good, because you deserve it, doll. Good on ya. Alright, let's begin. Ah. <sighs> Pash on! Wow, it's the first time I've seen this card come out this week. Allow your allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Wow! Don't know why I did that, but wow, Queen of Cups. Look at that cup. Not like any other cup. The lids on it, though. Queen of Cups doesn't give her love to anyone. But it's the best love that anyone can give. It's the whole cup. Someone is very passionate about you. And allowing their heart and soul to sing with joy. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Wow. 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 Aquarius. Wow. Should we just stop there? <laughs> You've read the title, so you know what's coming. I don't yet, so <laughs> just bear with me. <laughs> okay. Ooh, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. <gasps> cool. I like that they're going to make the effort. That's very good. Oh, nine of wands. Never going to give up. Never going to give you up. I'm just being rickrolled here. <laughs> Never going to let you down. <laughs> Just got Rick rolled in my own head. Wow. Well, by spirit. <laughs> Just got Rick rolled. <laughs> oh, I thought they're defensive about making the. I uh, know. I just got Rick, Rick Astley coming in my head saying, Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Gonna... Yep. So they're gonna make the effort and they're not gonna give up. No. They're never going to give you up. Never going to let you. <laughs> oh, please stop. Oh. Well, okay. 
Let's keep going. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I'm just smiling ear to ear from that energy, but it's it's not just the song and it's not just, you know, being Rickrolled. It's the energy here. It's very happy energy. So keeping an open mind that you yeah, your soulmate may be diff may differ from your usual type and expectations. And look at that. Two of Cups. Wow. I haven't seen the Queen or the Two of Cups come out all night. And here it is for you. Just for you, Aquarius. Wow. Out of either deck, I haven't seen them come out. It's just for you, Aquarius. So, yeah. They've... You know, they think they might be different to their usual type and expectations, but they feel there is love here. That you see emotionally eye to eye with each other. That you're both coming with an open cup here. They're aware that you might be a little bit different to what they're used to, but they feel that there is a connection here. And that, you know, they don't know you yet, so... Well, n yeah. Well, maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Well, they know of you, of course. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's keep going. Goose. <laughs> Take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving. Ooh, okay. All right. Ooh, we've got the Empress with the Earth Mother. And we've got the Three of Swords. Ooh, okay. Okay. So they're going to take time to re-rest and recuperate. Because they're not going to try and push this too much further. Because trying to push to create an empire with you and grow this beautiful, you know, love with you, they could end up with their heart broken here. So it's basically take a step back. You've got this passion and love here. You're trying to keep an open mind that Aquarius feels the same way. You're going to determine to continue to make the effort. In this connection, like to grow the connection, but you, yeah, they know that if they try and go too far, they want this empress energy to grow with you, but they know they need to step back, Be, yeah, because they could get their heart broken here. So that's coming if you're if you, you're interested too, that will happen. But they don't know that yet. So it's like pull yourself back. Put your feet back on the ground. Because you could be setting yourself up for a heartbreak here. If you get too... Yeah. Gorilla. Magella. Gorilla. I used to watch that when I was a kid. Not when it originally came out, of course, but reruns. But still, that's showing my age, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. All right. Take the time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members. Okay. So they're going to listen to what you have to say, Aquarius. Ooh, the battle wagon, which is the chariot. And, ooh, the High Priest, which is the Hierophant. Wow. Charging forward triumphantly towards a commitment of what they believe in. Which is a commitment with you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is. <laughs> the Empress, the Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups. What more can I say? Charge it, yeah. They just want to charge him full pelt and have a commitment with you. But they're going to listen compassionately to the people that are around them. 
Instead of telling them to s slow down. Oh dear, sorry for yawning. It is so late. Like, the birds are going to start chirping soon. Um, I just, yeah, anyway. My fault. <laughs> I hope these load up in time. Anyway, um, yeah. So they know they need to back off from that. And, you know, people are telling them to slow down a bit, mate. Yes, yes, this can charge forward triumphantly. And yes, this could end up being a commitment. This growing into a beautiful commitment. I think they can see that. But they need to hold. I'm hearing hold your horses. <laughs> and there's the horses. Hold your horses, mate. Just hold your horses. Cool. Yeah, slow down. Because you could be running straight into heartbreak here if Aquarius isn't interested. All right. Meerkat. Get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. All right. And we have... <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles. You're kidding me. <laughs> So they're getting support and advice from people who have long-term, stable, happy, grounded, committed connections. People, and that's exactly right. Smart person. You go to someone who has what you want for advice on how to get it. Don't go to someone who doesn't have what you want. It's like going to the ice cream man. When he rolls up with his, you know, playing green sleeves out the front of your house. And you go out there to buy ice cream. And, oh, by the way, um, how do I do brain surgery? Like, it's, you just don't do that. <laughs> He's, unless he was an ex-brain surgeon, um, which would be extremely rare. Um, yeah, they're not going to be able to give you the advice that you need. So, look, they're smart enough to go to, you know like-minded friends, people who want what he's looking for, people, who, you know, so he's got friends who are in long-term, stable, committed relationships, which is another plus for this person, plus, not X plus, um, yeah, yeah, yep, married, committed, stable, loving, connections with people around them on the best way to approach this because yeah they want to go too fast and they know that's not the right idea but oh this is beautiful Aquarius wow I think I have some Aquarius in my chart I'm gonna claim this <laughs> oh too good bottom of the deck I've hidden my love for you they've got to hide how much they feel for you and this <laughs> commitment, growing an empire with you, the, like, the, you know, the Ten of Pentacles, like all this, they've got to hide how fast they want to charge forward with this. <sighs> this love, this passion and love. This, yeah, they've got to hide all this because they're going to scare you away. <laughs> you Whoa, too fast, mate. Slow down. <laughs> yeah, they know. All right, what would this love energy you like to say to Aquarius, please? It's so good to end on a nice reading. Oh, that's actually the first one. I'll turn them around. Okay. So we've got, I'm afraid of these feelings. Yeah, because what are they going to do? You, if you, you're not open to a connection here. All this love, the oh, amazing love and passion here. All these, you know... They know they've got to back off because they're going to get really hurt if you reject them. And that's, yeah, that's not your problem. You go for what you want, Aquarius. But, yeah, they're afraid of what are they going to do with all these feelings because it's massive feelings for you. And I'm not, and yeah, they're not going to get over you in a hurry if you reject them. Yeah, they're not going to get over you. It's going to take a while. It will take a while. It's not like, you know, you'll reject them and they'll go, oh, well, never mind. Who's next? No, it's not going to be like that at all. 
no, 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 no. It's going to take them quite a while to get over you. A very, very long time, actually, is what I'm hearing. Wow. Because they feel very deeply about you. They're not over you. They won't get over you at all. I think you'll always have a place in their heart, is what I'm hearing. Alright, yeah. So, I think they're afraid their feelings are, yeah, are getting a bit too strong, <laughs> too fast, and like they're it's like they're afraid their feelings are just going to overflow and spill out and then they're going to you're going to run away going no no too much too soon so yeah that's their fear yeah and yeah then they'll get their heart broken because it will hurt but wow I really hope you like this person Aquarius I really hope you feel the same way that they do. Because, wow, this will be amazing. Amazing. Mm, yay. Lucky Aquarius. All right. Well, that's your reading. Don't forget to... Oh, oh. I'm so sorry, yawning. It's really, yeah, very, very late. Yeah. It's almost sparrow five o'clock. So, yes. Okay. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment below. That would be awesome. And let me know if this happens. Please, tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> and thank you. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. All right. Well, all the best. Good luck. This is awesome. Take care. And I'll catch you later.